Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we developed a general differential equation for an RCL circuit, in particular a source-free parallel RCL circuit. And here it is. So now we're going to solve that differential equation. Remember that the equation was derived because we used a convention, a convention where we picked a point in the circuit which was on the positive side of the initial voltage across the capacitor and we had all the currents emanating from that particular point. That's the, that's the convention that we use and then we end up with that differential equation. So now to solve the equation we want to get the, characters, the characteristic equation and we do that by letting s equal dv dt and s squared equal the second derivative of the voltage with respect to time and then we make that substitution. So this equation then becomes the following. So the first term we get S squared plus 1 over C or 1 over RC times the first derivative with respect to time which is S and then plus 1 over LC times the voltage which is equal to zero. Now where does this 1 over LC come from? Well obviously from the equation but there's another meaning there we'll get upon that meaning in just a moment. All right, so what this looks like now is this looks like a, sick, a simple second order uh, quadratic equation and we can solve it as such. So what we can say then is that S um, is equal to the minus 1 over RC, minus 1 over RC, plus or minus the square root of 1 over RC squared, and then minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is 1 over LC. And of course, we take the whole thing and divide it by 2a, which is 2 times 1. We can now simplify that a little bit by moving that 2 into the numerator. And so then we can write this as s is equal to minus 1 over 2rc plus or minus the square root of, and we bring the 2 in here that goes into the denominator. Well, first of all, we need to square it to move it inside the radical, but then we already have it squared right here. So this could be written as 1 over 2rc quantity squared minus, bring the 2 up in here, now notice that uh, we need to square that, that gives us a 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, so this becomes minus 1 over lc. But what we could do is we could take the square root of that and then square this, like this. So notice that, uh, let me rewrite that a little bit because it's a little bit messy. Again, what I did was I went minus, bring the 2 in here, but if we bring it into the radical, we have to square that. So we have 4 divided by 4, which is 1. So minus 1 times 1 over LC. 1 over LC. So that's what I end up. Let me just write it like that, because then it becomes clearer. Now we're going to rewrite it as such. So S equals minus 1 over 2RC, plus or minus the square root of quantity 1 over 2RC squared. And this we're going to write as follows. We're going to square it and take the square root at the same time. So we take the square root of 1 over LC. And of course, oh, I messed up again, but there we go. That looks a little bit better. And we're going to take the whole thing as squared again. So I'm taking the square root and I'm squaring it at the same time. There's a reason for that. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to let alpha equal to 1 over 2RC and we're going to let omega sub naught equal the square root of 1 over LC. All right, if we now make that substitution, let me do it over here, then we can see that S is equal to minus 1 over 2RC, but that's equal to alpha, so minus alpha plus or minus the square root of alpha squared minus omega sub naught squared. And this now becomes the solution to our differential equation. I said, well, wait a minute, what can we do with that? Well, that, we'll show that on the next video, because what we're going to do is we're going to develop the three possible solutions of this. Now we say, well, why are there three possible solutions? Well, we have the square root of alpha, alpha squared minus omega squared. So we're going to end up with three cases. Case number one, we will end up with that alpha is larger than omega sub naught. So that makes this a real quantity. 
The second case will be where alpha is equal to omega sub naught. And the third case is going to happen when alpha is smaller than omega sub naught, where this will then, of course, be a negative number. And then we take the square root of negative number, we get i, and then we'll show you how, what that looks like. So we're going to end up with three possible cases of our general solution of the differential equation. Now, we also want to take a look at 1 over LC. Where does LC come from? Well, L, of course, is the inductor, and C is the capacitor. And where that comes from is as follows. If we have a source-free circuit where we have on one side an inductor and on the other side a capacitor, and of course we'll end up with a positive, negative, some initial voltage like this, and then what will happen is we'll have the current oscillating back and forth over time, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, essentially forever, because in an ideal circuit like this, where we don't have a resistor, there's no dampening effect. So whatever the initial energy of the circuit is, it will remain in there and the current will simply oscillate back and forth. What will be the frequency of oscillation? Well, that will be determined by omega sub naught. Omega sub naught is the natural frequency of this part of the circuit, in other words, of this part of the circuit. So omega sub naught is equal to the square root of 1 over LC is simply the natural frequency of the current going back and forth if we ignore the resistor in the circuit. Of course, with the resistor, there's going to be a dampening effect, and so we have an alpha, which is 1 over 2 RC, and then depending upon the relationship between alpha and omega sub naught, we'll have a situation where we have over dampening, critical dampening, or under damping. And so we're going to show you how to calculate those specific solutions with boundary conditions in the next videos to come. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that as well. Hi, Tappy.